In this video we're going to see how to add a button to a window. When we've finished this first program we'll have a button and a label um, on our window but they won't actually do anything. Now, this is going to be part of three mini videos if you like. The one after this is going to show how we can use a layout manager to put them within our window so we don't have that messing around where we're moving them and hoping they look quite central. And then the third video we're going to see how we can click the button and change the text so that we start creating um, some kind of events that are going on within our program. Okay, so here's our basic window. All we need to do now is add our button and add our label. So I'm just going to go um, here and I'm going to call my button B, not particularly um, Pythonic in its way, but it will do for what we're doing. So that's going to be a QT widgets and then it's going to be a Q push button. So that's what they call buttons, push buttons. Just like our label, we're going to add it to um, the window. And then let's do our label, we'll call that L. Again, that's a QT widgets, but this one is a Q label. Whoops and we're going to add that to the window as well. So let's give the button a, um, a label, well, a, a title if you like, or something written on it. And um, we're gonna do that in the, sorry, let's go back with the set text. And I'm gonna call this one, push me. It's actually not going to do anything if you remember what I said before we're going to do that two videos from here and the label we're going to set the text of that one there and we're going to call that one look at me um, let's just go yeah look at me and then the next thing we need to do in fact let's run that it's not going to, you'll see there's a slight issue if I run that but you can see that one's on top of the other here, um, which obviously we can solve that by actually moving each of them. So let's move the button first, so that's B, and then we're going to move that, and I'm going to do it at 150. I've done this before to so make sure they're in a nice place because we're not using any layout managers yet. And let's move the button as well. Oh, sorry, not the button, sorry, the label as well. And let's do that to 110, 100. And now when we run that, we can see they're nicely placed. Notice the button, it works like a button, looks really good, just doesn't do anything at the moment. And we'll do that in two lessons time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, think about subscribing. I've included a link to the code that I've used in the video below in the description. Stay in infield with Winfield.